Take a look at this beautiful sun hat. This is what we'll be in today's video. The items we'll be using for the video are our fabrics, our pattern, our pattern paper, our lining, and then our interface. Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Splendor of the Splendor Glam. If you are new to this channel, please do well to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we post new videos. Now a sun hat is divided into three panels. We have the top panel, the middle panel and the brim panel. The only measurements we require for this tutorial is our head circumference. And this head circumference measurement will be divided by 6.284 to give us the standard measurement for our top panel. Now, this is writing it on the paper. The top panel is equal to the head circumference divided by 6.284. For me, it is 25 inches divided by 6.284 to give me 3.95. So that will be the measurement for my top panel so i'll just mark that on my paper first of all i'll fold my paper into four like you can see in this video i folded it into two before and now i'm folding it into four then on that paper i'll be marking out 3.98 as you can see i'll just mark it at this edge and then continue until i get to the other end like this so i'll then trace it some more into a smooth line so after doing that i'll use my scissors to cut it out this is what i'll be using to cut out the top panel on my fabrics so i'll just open it up as you can see this is a perfect circle so for the top panel i'll be cutting out two pieces of interfacing and then two fabrics because my fa uh, interfacing is the medium one if yours is a hard one you need just one interfacing now going into the second part of the sun hat which is the middle panel the middle panel you be dividing your head circumference by two for me, it is 25 divided by 2, which is 12.5 or 12 and a half. So I'll just mark that on my paper as well. This is to give us the middle panel of our sun hat. So this is me marking out the 12.5 on my pattern paper. As you can see, I'll just mark it on the other side. And then for the width of my middle panel, for me, I'll be using five. You can use four. It depends on what you want. For this video, I'll be using five. So I'll just connect the four points together using my pattern master. Or if you have a ruler, you can use it. So I'll just connect it like this, as you can see. So after connecting it on the down line, I'll be going up by one and a half inch. I'm just trying to fold my paper very well. So I'll just go up on that down line by one and a half inch, as you can see. And then on the upper line as well, I'll be going up by one and a half inch. So I'll just use my ruler to connect my pattern master, pardon me, to connect it to the original down line as you can see and then i'll repeat the same thing for the upper part of the line make sure you connect it in a curvy way like you can see in this video 
then on the side i'll just connect the straight line as you can see so after doing that on that new upper line that we marked i'll be going in by half of an inch as you can see i'll just mark it there and then connect it to the old line in a curvy way and just blend it together having done this i'll just cut it out on the new line that we have been able to draw so i'll just cut it very well and then when i'm cutting it on my fabrics i'll be cutting this portion on fold so i'll just indicate it there so i remember then for the middle panel i'll be needing two pieces of fabrics that's one fabric and one lining and then i'll be needing two pieces of interfacing because my interfacing is the medium one and not the hard if yours is hard you just need one piece so for the brim when cutting it i'll fold my paper into four and then i'll use my top panel that i cut earlier to place it on the brim and then i'll trace that out neatly as you can see so after tracing it out like this the next thing i'm going to be doing is to determine the width of my brim for me on this video i'll be using five inches you can use less or more it depends on what you want so i'll just trace it some more like this then i'll be marking in half inch seam allowance as you can see i'll just do this off the camera so i've marked in my half inch on the down part and then also on the upper part of the brim this is my sewing allowance so i haven't done this as you can see i just open it up for you guys to see so this is what we'll be using to trace out our brim panel on our fabric you'll be needing two pieces one fabric one lining and then two interfacing this is my interfacing and this is my fabrics as well as this is my lining so i just went off the camera to cut out my interfacing so as i said earlier i cut out two pieces of my interfacing as you can see because it's the medium warm and then also i cut two pieces of my brain panel like this and as well as two pieces of my third panel like this i'll also go ahead to cut it on my fabrics and after doing that i also ironed the interfacing on my fabrics i did that off the camera but this is what it looks like you just iron your interfacing on your fabrics as you can see so this is the lining for the sun hat so that's for the middle panel this is for the top panel i'll just open it up so you see this is it for the top and then this is for our brim panel as well so guys if you haven't liked this video please do well to like subscribe share with your friends and family kindly turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever i post a new video so i haven't done this the next thing i am going to be doing is to notch my fabric so now i'm going to be notching the middle panel that's the point where i'll be connecting it on the other side where i'll be notching on my brain i'll do the same thing for my lining so i'll just do it for the brim and do the same thing for my fabrics as you can see so having done that the next thing i am going to be doing is to join my middle panel together so i've done this this is what it looks like 
after joining this is it as well i also joined my lining so now i'll be using my pins to hold my top panel to my middle panel like this as you can see i'll just do it round this is to help me have a smooth sewing when i am connecting it together so having done that i went ahead to my sewing machine to join the top panel and the middle panel together this is what our sun hat is already looking like so the next thing i'll be doing is to connect the brim and the middle panel together as you can see i have also done that off the camera can you see where i joined the middle panel and the brim together so this is what our sun hat is already looking like then i did the same thing for my lining i'm just trying out something for you guys to see just look at what it looks like when you join your lining and your main fabrics together so the next thing to do now is to join my lining and my main fabric so i'll be facing the right side of the fabric and the right side of the lining together and then i'll stitch it on my machine so this is it guys i've done that off the camera as well i stitched it round and then i left about four inches opening that is the point where I'll be turning out the good face of our sun hat. So this is turning it out. As you can see. Wow. So after turning it, this is what it looks like. And then you go and iron it properly like I did. I just ironed it properly. So this is it. At this point where there is an opening i'll be folding in the main fabric and the lining and then i'll just close it up with a top stitch i'll be top stitching it round like you can see so this is what our sun hat looks like for emphasis because i'll be closing up that opening there with the top stitch and i'll be doing it round the entire brim like you can see so this is the top stitching can you see so neat and tiny it will be difficult to tell which part was open on this heart so please do well to like our video subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get, not to get notified whenever i post new videos see you in my next video